Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a big one here. 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Hanger Case number one. There's 64 boxes right here, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Jaspies going to help us out right here. But first, the randomizer. Do all cards should know? No vet comments ship in this. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. So the first dice roll, we're going to do the randomizer. Oh, I need some dice. And the last random, uh, the last dice roll at the very end of this long break will be um, will be for the giveaway. This is a wax party break. But for names and teams, five and a two, seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Matthew Sherratt down to Matthew Geary. A couple Matthews. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Philadelphia Phillies down to the Seattle Mariners. And while, while we're ripping boxes here, you can see Nick ripping in the top camera above my head. While we're doing this, uh, feel free to trade. Matthew with the Phillies, Ryan with the Orioles, Jason Fractor with the Cardinals, Aaron K with the Astros, Clint with the Marlins, Jeremy with the Yankees, Arturo with the Diamondbacks, Aaron with the Red Sox, Clint with the Blue Jays, Tim with the Reds, Stephen Flat with the A's, last spot mojo for you, 70% of the time, 100% of the time. Richard with the Rockies, Ryan with the Brew Crew, Matthew G with the Rangers, C. Birch with the Rays, Ryan with the Mets, Aaron with my Dodgers, Martin with the Twins, Neil with the Royals, Chris with the Padres, Steve with the uh, Braves, almost said Raves, Steve with the Braves, Richard with the White Sox, Levi with the Pirates, Frank with the uh, Nationals, that is, Brian with the Guardians, Joseph with the Cubs, Barry with the Angels, Jason with the Tigers, Steven with the Giants, and Matthew G with the Mariners. Let's sort this by team. I don't think so either. And we'll keep the video running while I go grab a monster box and then we'll uh, see if there's any trades and then we'll keep going. Monster? I think one monster box in there? How many cards per box? Can't be that much. Monster box. 20 or something? Yeah. Now, if you look at the schedule, we should be a little bit ahead of schedule with Nick's help. That was our first um, retail case yesterday. That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I split it up into two videos. <laughs> I was like, if it was any other day, I would have packed snacks, but... The no, it was fine, was yeah. Impressed. No, it was, it, it was fine. Our day, our day was filled up pretty quickly. It was all good. I just had the Cowboys lost. That's, like, that's, exa that's exactly what Jason, Jason said. Jason was at least the Cowboys lost. Like, I wasn't I wasn't really sad at all after that. I didn't expect to be in the playoffs this year anyway. So. I, that's, that's my feeling. I didn't expect the Raiders to be in the playoffs too, so I was just like, I'm happy. Ryan's got uh, Mets Brewers up for trade. We'll give it a couple more moments. I said there was a chrome update like in every pack, and I don't see that. A what in every pack? That was... The chicken said some update in every pack, but I don't see them in there. Hmm. Is this the right hand? Yeah. They only make one hanger. 20, 20, 2021, that's true. Twins upper trade, maybe a Mets Brewers for Twins deal, Mets or Brewers. Maybe they're just in packs right now. Is it a tiny bit toasty in here? A little bit. At this, at this temperature is where it gets kind of uncomfortable in the room. Gonna go five hangers at a time per stack? Five hangers at a time per stack, all right. Oh, there's one chrome update card in there? I don't know. All right, Ryan and Martin, if you want to make a deal together, let's make a deal, or should we 
Should we close the trade window? And again, we'll do the randomizer at the end and we'll do, I guess we'll do an autograph and low number card recap at the end. Low number card, maybe 25 and under, and then definitely autographs. Recap at the end and then the randomizer. Redmond will say he, tr he will trade both his teams for the Twins. A two for one, Brewers, Mets for Twins. Does that move the needle for you, Mix Up, or should we move on? Mix Up is Martin, of course. Yeah, I think O's have uh, Ryan Ma Mountcastle this year, rookie cards, 2021. It's pretty good. Thankfully, it won't be a seven-hour break, Ryan Kaysen, because because uh, we got Nick's help. Should be should be a fraction of that number of hours. Afraid not, Redman. Okay, so let's move on. All right, TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. I think everyone can see. All right, so each little stack right here should be about five boxes at a time approximately. All right, here's the final printout right here. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me on Monday the 17th, 2022. Already halfway through January already. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. And then check the schedule for what's coming up next. We've got a few things lined up. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We got a, out of 199, Aqua, Brandon Crawford for my rivals, the Giants. That'll be for Stephen Flat. It's Casey Mize. Jason and the Tigers, Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins, that's for Clint. Nice uh, mid-80s design, Refractor Mike Trout. I kind of like the Monday Night Wild card though. I do like the Monday Night Wild card. How does everyone like the Monday Night Wild card? It sucks if your team has to be on a short rest. I think the winner of this will play on Sunday. So I think they gave him the, like, the extra day or so. But... The, all the other teams played on Saturday or Sunday, so that means they're losing a day of rest compared to us. That's true. Yeah, they got to figure that part out, but if they can figure that out, I don't mind three days of football in a row. There's a hyper show Otani. That'll be for Barry and the Angels. Your reigning AL MVP. What a season he's had. You can put together a couple more of those seasons like that. And the secondary market value will be to the moon. All right, those are your first five hanger boxes. Next five. I hate the hanger wrapping. The hanger wrapping is really tough, yeah. Paper cut central. Gotta be careful. Oh, that's a Nick Madrigal refractor for the White Sox, Richard.
Obviously, these are hanger boxes, so the autos are going to be fewer and far between. Sorry, Dad. You're supposed to give it to the guy. Imagine if the set, your own center could spot the ball at, at, at any play. time. That'd be chaos. That'd be chaos. He was like, "Oh, I'm glad they're throwing trash uh, at the refs." Yeah, that was a little. That was a little reckless. Plus, he auto penned all his cards, so he just come back. Right. Come on, Dak. Not my Walter Payton. No. Hey, there's an autograph. Monty Harrison. Marlins. Clint with the fish. Some good penmanship there. And we've got a out of two ninety nine Sam Huff purple chrome. That'll be for the Rangers. That'll be for Matthew and Texas. Alec Bombs, Joe Adels. Mike Trout Hyper. To Brian Hayes. stack right here. There's a Ryan Mountcastle rookie and out of 199. Max Scherzer, Aqua Shimmer. Max Scherzer, that's for Frank and the Nats. I have no idea. I was just going to ask the same thing. I think they're starting to meet right now. I thought they, were, they had a meeting and there was like, they said there was nothing happening. Oh, that's not encouraging. Carlos Santana reveals a redemption. You are due to receive a rookie autograph of... We might see the city first, unless this player has a long name. This player has a long name. S? No, the city is a long name. San? San Francisco? San Diego? San Diego, Ryan Weathers. Padres, Chris Parent with the pods. And a free top loader, too. Connor saying, I hope they bring the lavas from Bowman to Chrome next year. Yeah, I really like the lava refractors. I think those look really sharp. I hope they do, too. Brian Hayes, those are going to Levi Johnson with the Buckos. Fractures for the Angels, another Casey Mize. And we've got a uh, Yaz, Mike Kostremski, Magenta to 399. For the Giants, that'll be for Stephen Flat. I guess maybe we'll do some parallels for the uh, for the recap as well. At least the numbered cards. And of course, we'll try to capture a lot of the top rookies and rookie cards and whatnot. Donuts. What's that? Donuts. Randy's. Ooh. They opened a Randy's in Santa Monica. They have a lot of them now. El Segundo, Torrance. Really? That's the rest of them. So this, oh, this the rest. This is like the fifth box here. I think I'm doing fours now. Keep up 
Yeah. There's a Ryan Mount Castle refractor. I haven't had their coffee. You said their coffee's good? Oh, I don't, I've never had their coffee. Their donuts are obviously yeah, donuts are are classic. But are they... I wonder how much that landmark, like, like if they don't have that don't big donut thing, they're it's just like a normal donut shop, right? Yeah, I mean, kind of. You want that big, gigantic donut above the building, but I don't know if building codes allow that anymore. <laughs> so they're like grandfathered in. I think they're grandfathered in, yeah. Because that's in a ton of film and movies, obviously. Yeah. Where we first see Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow at Randy's. That's right. That's a good pull, yeah, you're right. I, I'm assuming that the donut formula is not terribly different, so I think from from, lo from location yeah. to location. Now are they do you know if they're franchised or if they are owned by the original Randy's restaurant group? So all these franchises I mean, popping up? I there's not a or? bunch. I would say there's like four or five maybe. So it's the same owners? Probably. But it used to be just the Inglewood. No, Correct, yeah. You think you think Krispy Kreme secretly o owns Randy's Donuts? And they're just creating like, false competition? It's like how vitamin water is like on my coke. Right. <laughs> it's, all, it's all false competition. It's like... Geno's and what's the other cheesesteak place? Pat's, yeah. They're all they're owned by the same people. Could be. I just watched uh, this old documentary from a few years ago about um, you know the the boy band documentary. Did you ever see that? It's on YouTube. No. About uh, Lou Pearlman, the guy who who basically put together In Sync and Backstreet Boys, uh -huh. and intentionally. Um, intentionally pitted them against each other to create that false sort of boy really? band rivalry. I didn't know that. Yeah, so he pitted them together and ultimately stole money from both of those groups, along with like O Town and LFO and all these other Did old they? boy band groups. And he was part of one of the largest Ponzi schemes in America, like a three hundred million dollar Ponzi scheme, like second to like Madoff or something like that. Went to jail, died in prison. One of my neighbors in New York uh, was the same, like, right on the scale of Bernie Madoff. Oh, yeah? 300 million or something. Wow. Prison for like a year. That's it? Yeah. Hey. But then, like, because, like, the wife said, oh, I earned a lot of this money, and this. Oh, they one of, like, the largest, um... Four out of 99, Ryan Mountcastle, really Green Queen. fancy teddy bear. Vermont Teddy Bear Company? FAO Schwartz Teddy Bears? It's something like that. They own like $20 million worth of are There's also that weird, that, this uh, German Teddy Bear Company that, that if you find vintage teddy bears of those, yeah. go for hundreds, if not thousands. So like the FBI sees all those? So the FBI is a bunch of teddy bears? In a, yeah. They probably like auction them off. What are we going to do with these? Yeah. Or like one FBI agent thought it, they were like worthless, so Tossed brought them home and then like got arrested. <laughs> I didn't know. And we got a Tristan McKenzie, Aqua Refractor autograph. Brian Crouch, Cleveland. This is for you. Fifty-five out of one ninety-nine. You watched the Beatles Disney Plus thing? I did. Did you? Long. Really long. I didn't really finish it. I was gonna say. I, it really didn't seem like it was. It's it's a, it's gonna appeal to, just yeah. like regular, fan, yeah, the average fan. You gotta really, you gotta really like him if you're gonna yeah. invest like six hours into him. He's a DHL guy. Yeah, it was uh, intense. All right, a lot of great rookie cards here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of great rookie cards. A lot of great. Grading opportunities here. I just I thought it'd be like a little more uncut. Oh, you thought you thought there were too many edits. I thought like there was clearly stuff that like they didn't put put in like 
that were probably more juicy. I think so too. Release the tapes. I want to. Like, I want to see like a full sixty-hour version of that. Because I think like Young Gong had to sign off on it, right? E, well, yeah. The, I think the surviving member. I think Ringo, Paul, Yoko, and then the Harrison family. Yeah, they had to all sign off on it. There's Dane Dunning, seventy-four out of four ninety-nine refractor autograph for Richard. But yeah, this is, it was clearly like, this is Peter Jackson's view of yeah. how he wants the Beatles story to be told. That guy's made enough money. Yeah. Peter Jackson said he spent like, years in New Zealand just working on that project yeah. just in the editing room Brand Lau black and white Steve Birch and the Rays all these Dylan Carlson's will go to Jason and the Redbirds of course I've watched both of that I heard it's kind of I've seen the first few episodes there are only three episodes in now right Three, or four, yeah. three. I think the fourth really, one is this week. What's been really good, surprisingly, for me is Peacemaker on HBO Max with John Cena. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a DC character I've not from, seen um, it. I don't think these are cut. From, his character from Suicide Squad, the good one. Oh, okay. The James Gunn version. The, like, the original one? No, no, no. The latest they one? They came out with a, a different one, yeah. I have not seen the latest Suicide Squad. The latest one is like a hundred times better. The first one was maybe the worst movie ever. I think they said. Yeah, it wasn't that great. It was really bad. Great. I think I liked all the individual characters, but the yeah, ultimate... Yeah, the characters are good, but... All the acting is good, but like the entire... How that was all put together wasn't... You know what looks good? Moon Knight. With Oscar Isaac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poe Dameron. That's on Apple Star Wars. TV, I no, I think it's Disney Plus. Oh, Disney Plus. It's, a, it's a Marvel product. Marvel property. Oh, really? Yeah, Moon Knight's Marvel, I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, you can turn it off. I can do good here now. Yeah, sorry, Evan. Like, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, you'd be like, oh okay. <laughs> you would be too nice. All right. Yeah, the new Boba Fett show. It's kind of like it's. it's like politics. Yeah, a little bit. Like it, Star Wars politics? Yeah. But it's like, I, I don't like, know what the purpose of his existence is yet. You know what I mean? I saw a lot of funny Reddit posts. It was like, um, do we want to see, you know, Boba Fett on bounty, hunter missions, and all this? No, we just want to see him, like, old, retired Boba. And <laughs> right, right, right. It, it, it almost, it has, like, the pace of, like, The Godfather, where it's just very slow, and Michael Corleone's making deals, yeah. and he's... Let's Michael Corleone goes to Cuba and that's like 40 minutes yeah. and then he, he talks to like this one boss and that's 40 minutes the he talks to another there. boss and yeah. boom there's action and then it's gone yeah. and I like Godfather but it's not quite what I expected out of both I just don't know why he's there what's his purpose it just feels like the the B storyline in like Mandalore like it's just a secondary storyline that we're getting an extended That's look at. The problem is, like, with all these TV shows, like, not every character needs some. Um, no. Crowd, you know? Right. So I think it's really, it just really feels like a, an extended side story leading up to season three of Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Yeah, that's all I think. So it I'll is. have to watch it if I want to watch season three. Maybe you probably don't even have to. 
I'll just, probably just wait until all the episodes are out, so I don't have to And just like, bang them out all at once, yeah. Them, like, a couple days before Mando. Three. Because I feel like, I feel like it's just set up, set up, set up, and then, like, the last two or three episodes are going to be like, OMG, yeah. stay tuned for Mandalorian 3 yeah. <laughs> for the resolution of the storyline. So it's just like, man, so ultimately, long story short, currently Boba Fett feels like a six or seven episode act one yeah. <laughs> of, of like Mandalorian season three. Wait, so what's this other, this HBO Max show you're talking about? Peacemaker with John Cena. Peacemaker, so is he the Peacemaker? Yeah, that's his uh, like superhero name kind of, but he's really not a superhero, he's just like kind of a guy. Okay. It's really like rated R kind of. Oh, it's HBO Max. You can get, get a little extra. Well, like you would never see Marvel releases. Right. I mean, they barely cut off arms in like Disney Star Wars. Yeah. In Re original Star Wars, they were chopping off heads all the time. Remember? Yeah, yeah. No head chopping in no Disney Star chopping. Wars. You can barely lose an arm in Disney Star Wars. Although, if you watch Cars two, it's like sneaking violent. Is it really? Yeah, it's like, um, Cars 2, the whole plot is Mater goes to, Mater. Is that the, that, that's where they go to Europe, right? They go to, oh. yeah, and like it's a James Bond type of like crime and like a car burns right. alive, like they torture a Oh my God, that's right. It's crazy. <laughs> but it's a car, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, out of 399, we've got Ryan Braun. 219 out of 399. Did he did Ryan Braun recently retire or is that someone else? I think else? so. Yeah. I he think retired. he did, right? Yeah, you have to watch Suicide Squad to understand that, I think. The latest one. Or to grasp yeah, the latest one. Gotcha. Which is pretty good. It's on the it's on the list. It's funny. Retired too recently. Kyle Seeger, I think. Kyle Seeger. That was kind of surprising. I didn't think. I thought he had. Kind of young. I thought he had some more years in him. There is Adalberto Mondesi for Neil in Kansas City, black and white. He's gonna live with his brother. I guess hang out. His brother got paid, so. so he's gonna move to Dallas and just yeah. chill. Yeah, be his agent. This wouldn't be that bad. Entourage. Just, just, just tearing it up in Dallas. Yeah. Three hundred million dollars in Texas. Oh man. Goes far. I mean, that, yeah, that does go far, doesn't it? There's Justin Verlander, three twenty-four out of three fifty. Magenta Speckle for Houston. That's gonna go to Aaron. DL. On the paper. DL. Yeah, no, no, no. It's good. Day to day. Just day to day. Yeah. Just day to day. <laughs> Questionable for a mixer later tonight. Yeah. All right, we got um, for Detroit, Roni Garcia. Another autograph for Jason Fractor. We got a Dalbeck refractor for Aaron and the Red Sox. What's our time elapsed on this break? Time elapsed? 30 minutes. Is this it? Yeah. Whoa. About an hour, I guess. We're kind of flying on this. That's good. Yeah, I figured the opening part is like about an hour. The opening part, that's, that's where the time is. Because there's not that many number of packs, relative, you know, relatively speaking. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a poll up here. Monday Night Football, the last, the first wild card Monday. 
And it's Arizona here in Los Angeles. Oh, that's why there was a little extra traffic today. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's the games at SoFi. Usually, Monday... But... It's like... Uh, I guess you could, I guess Monday, I'm going down the 405. What time do you leave? Around, like, 2 okay. o'clock. So, 2 o'clock, so you hit Inglewood around, like, 2.30? R right. So, yeah, I guess you're probably right. Because generally, this happened to me the other time, too. Generally, it's like a 30-ish minute drive. It took me about 45 minutes today with, with more vehicles on the road. I think I think it was people going to the stadium. So Eric Weddle's gonna play? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think he's, he's been ready to go. He's been practicing this week, and I think he's ready to go. Until like the first play where he just gets burned. Yeah. And then they're like, well, he got for two snaps in the first quarter, and now he's gone for the rest of the game. Because they uh, took out the guy who Jalen Ramsey punched. <laughs> Does Jalen Ramsey punch someone? You didn't see that? That was like so underplayed because Antonio Brown was the same week. Oh. It happened the same thing. I don't know. Someone got injured and, and they were like, they needed the safety help or something like that. Um, no, Jalen Ramsey punched like Taylor Rapp or something. Oh. Like in the defensive huddle. Oh. Third quarter. Wow. It's crazy. We got a Kyle Lewis gold. 17 out of 50. That'll be for Matthew and the Mariners. Another refractor Mount Castle. That, that definitely went under the radar. And Matthew Stafford has no charisma in this. Come on, man. I know. That was, yeah, Matthew Stafford was very... He was very bored. Currently in our poll that we have. And then that place is closed, isn't it? What is? Amoeba Music. Why are they even showing that? They showed Amoeba Music. I thought they closed that place. I thought or, that was done too. Maybe they moved it. I don't know. Maybe they moved it to a smaller location. Why would they show that? They are using old B-roll. Old, old B-roll. Who wins Monday Night Football tonight against the spread? Arizona plus three or at Rams minus three. 56 votes in our poll, 55% saying the Rams minus three. Nick Jaspi is on the Cardinals plus three. Might sprinkle a few first touchdowns. Or no, you're on Cardinals money line? Well, I'll take Cardinals plus three if you're going to broadcast it. <laughs> I think he was on Cardinals money line. I was, though, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of lot of lot of pressure on the Rams. They got Stafford. This is their whole like we're going, we're all in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's Jose or Quitty. Twenty two out of twenty five. Future stars orange for the Astros. Aaron. You know they they pretty much mortgage their entire future for like the next year or two. I wonder who the winner of this game plays. I think the winner of this game goes to Tampa Bay. Uh, who's going to Green Bay? San Ooh, Fran? San Fran. And then AFC, it's Tennessee versus Buffalo? Uh, Cincinnati, I think. Cincinnati. And Buffalo versus Chiefs. Chiefs. Ooh, that'll be good. That's going to be a great game. Wish that was the AFC Championship. McSub, um, no, I don't think so. I don't. I do not recall calling out your name during this break, so I don't think there's anything significant. There may have been whatever team you have. There may have been some, some rookies and whatnot, but that we've sleeved up. But nothing in the way of an autograph or a numbered card. There's a refractor, Cabrian Hayes, for the Pirates, Levi. You're pricing out some UFC, and to your surprise, are no longer as cheap as they were a year ago. Yeah, I think UFC's made a little bit of a of a upward run. Especially if you have like tops and stuff. 
Right. So yeah, if you were long on UFC stuff, if you kept that kept those in a shoebox and didn't move them, you might be surprised if you dig those out. And when they have all the sports, I hope they come out with like Topps Chrome multi sport. Whoa. I'm looking forward to a little Topps Chrome basketball. They should do Topps Chrome retired baseball. Topps Chrome retired baseball. I mean, they already kind of do archive signature series retired players, right? So yeah. you can easily put that together. The possibilities are are wide open. What if they don't ever do redemptions ever again? I mean, they have the power to. They've got connections yeah. with every single player. Yeah. I mean, that's supposed to be the all, all part of all the whole upside is that it should be easier to. Well, if the MLBPA is getting paid, then they should be like, hey, right. players. Give up that money. There's Trevor Story, 273 out of 299. little color match there for the Rockies. Richard. More Joey Bart for the Giants. Stephen Flat. And we got a Dylan Carlson rookie autograph. Nice. Jason Fractor with the Cardinals. One of their top young players in that organization. Talk over it, blah, 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 blah. There's Evan Longoria, black and white. I think it's a cover, so it might not. Mm. Might not. Evan Longoria, That's black and white. Good. They got the real guy out there. Who sings that song? Lionel Richie. No, they don't have Lionel Richie. Yeah, that's not Lionel Richie's no, it's voice. Not. It's pretty close, though. Wait, who is that guy? I don't know who that is. Is that fake Lionel Richie? Do they have, does he have a song? Maybe. Like Frank Richie? Like, um... Is that John Legend? That's not John Legend. John Legend would definitely copyright it. Oh, yeah. I bet he'd be the first one to, to cancel this video. Yeah. And then we get some snarky tweet from, from, yeah, from Tegan. <laughs> be like, aw, <laughs> she is a bully. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like there's something, something dark happening there. <laughs> They're <laughs> like too good to be true. I don't like them. I've never liked them. Everyone really loves them as a power couple, and then they, you know, the people love Chrissy Teigen's brand. They love John Legend, and I just feel like MCP's kind of overrated. Just like not even. Yeah, like. Like off the like on the field. What what kind of hits has he had? Like what kind of stats is he putting up? He's got a good voice, but. He's got a great voice, but yeah, what kind of stats is he putting up? Like I. A lot more, tons more memorable Adele songs than John Legend oh, songs, right? Adele's, yeah. But people act like John Legend's like... He probably has won almost as many awards. Hmm, interesting. People love him, though. I'm neutral on John Legend. He's some good features, I guess. Yeah, he, I, feel like, I feel like I recognize him more in, like, collabs and than yeah. his solo stuff, but... I saw a redemption here, but no. Yeah, we are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. So obviously these are inserts, so they will ship, in case you were wondering. Joey Bart Giants, Stephen Flat. Wish Hopkins and Mott were healthy. Though. Josh saying thank you for uh Oh, nice pickups this weekend, Nick. Did you come thank and pick you. up Josh? I think Josh picked up some stuff. I think he's in the area. You're welcome. 
Congrats. Thanks for getting into the action, Josh. What was he saying? My pickups that I had on my Instagram were the, nice. Oh, the pickups. Oh, that Nick picked up this weekend? Oh, maybe that's what he's talking about. Thank you either way. Yeah, we're, we're always refreshing the singles here. Some end up in the store. A lot of people buy in the store. Some people, sometimes they, Dallas, end, sometimes they end up in hit packs. Crazy He's too crazy the, in Dallas? Did you see the video? No, what happened? Well, there's a whole story behind it, but the guy got, the guy got arrested like in the hotel lobby like in front of like 300 people. A guy got arrested? Yeah, front? he tried to evade the cops and... Everybody, what, like, what did he tackled do? Him. He was selling like fake cars, fake Jordans. Or something. So then, like these two or three cops tackled him, and other wow. uh, civilians tackled him and were kicking him in the face. And wow. Spitting. And it was crazy. Yeah, you can't sell fake stuff to people. No. <laughs> that mob, that hobby mob yeah, mentality. A, will just... a total mob. It was like in the Simpsons movie when they all had the pitchforks and... <laughs> Red and loud at three ninety nine. Right, and you have all these people like coming at you like this, yeah. and you're like, ah. Ah, we got uh, Jordan Heim. Jonah Heim. Oakland A's autograph for Stephen Flat. Last spot mojo. He was born in Buffalo. Darren says, turns out the cards were not fake? Really? Huh. Oh, no, I think he's trying to be funny. Are you trying to be funny, Darren, or are you just fake news? I didn't really read about it. I just saw the video. If there was a misunderstanding, then that's... I feel bad. Because he really got... <laughs> he really got, like, kind of beat up there. Well, I saw they were, like, kind of graded. Like, they were, like, raw card review graded. But yeah, it's a little too hot there. A little too, little too hot in Dallas. Yeah, it's just not, like, hot the weather. Hot, like, the, the show's a little too... A little too hot. Think too many things going on. Oh, so so Justin Clement is confirming Darren saying that they were that they weren't fake. It was a huge misunderstanding. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Still too hot. Still too hot for Jaspies. Thank you, Nick. Well, there's there's like, Giancarlo Stan to three fifty. There's like the um, what do you call cops undercover? Like those the, undercover the cops? cops? Yeah, I mean a ton of those guys. <laughs> walking around. Man, that's crazy. So then you just accuse anybody of anything and then they'll just get jumped by... Yeah, that's, what that's I'm saying. So yeah, so we're not going there. <laughs> like, what if you don't like this guy? I could just say he was selling fake cards and then... Yeah, you can just point at anyone and then, I don't know, you, th then you'd be the boy who cried wolf. You don't want to be that guy or girl. Well, the cops won't say who, who did it. Yeah, it's true. There was a claim that it was buyer's remorse, Justin saying. Whoa. Wait, so there's buyer's remorse and he's like, hey, these are fake. Oh, that's brutal. That's rough. Oh, be careful out there, everybody. There's Yadier Molina, black and white, for the Cardinals. And there's Alec Baum. Cabrian Hayes, rookie card. And boys and girls, that is that. Clocking in at 44 minutes and 30 seconds. That's awesome. So big, big thanks to Nick for helping us out, saving us from uh, from this long break here. Uh, now let's give away some of those wax party spots. So let's flip back to the list. Let's get all this on one screen here. Let's uh, gather all of your names from Arturo down to Franklin. New dice, new list. 
and top two after nine are winners. You'll be in that Wax Party promo, chance to win some nice wax, some nice boxes. Six and a three, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, good luck, everybody. Remember, there are a lot of opportunities to try to win. So if you don't get it this time, there are going to be a bunch of next times. Matthew Shira, very close. No cigar here, but I appreciate you and everybody giving this a shot. Thank you. Top two. You're in the promo. Matthew Geary and Levi Johnson. Congrats to the both of you. You're in the Wax Party promo. You're guaranteed to win some boxes and one and it'll be random, but the grand prizes are pretty nice. Check out the box list on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Little recap here. So here are some of the black and white variations and some of the other parallels, numbered parallels. Got a refractor that's sneaking in there as well. So not bad, not bad for a hanger box. And some autos and an out of 25. Nice Dylan Carlson, that was out of 25. Got a nice Ryan Weathers. Redemption, and that is that. Thank you, friends. I appreciate everybody watching, joining, getting in, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Wax Party Break. Bye-bye.